What's going on there, folks? Good evening, Earthmaster here on the live stream on this Monday, September 6, 2021. It's a date about 6.11 p.m. West Coast time and the latest quake on the globe. It was a 3.3 earthquake in the Puerto Rico area. So a little bit, a little bit of a earthquake mishap today. Earlier today, we had a uh, notification of a 6.5 magnitude earthquake around the uh, Canada area. This uh, was triggered by mistake, supposedly. A computer glitch uh, sent out this notification of a 6.5 that occurred at 2117 UTC time in this area at a depth of about 15 kilometers. Also, uh, it was picked up by the EMSC. Uh, they sent out a notification through mobile apps as well, and uh, they ended up pulling that earthquake uh, along with USGS eventually. So apparently things like this does happen. Um, I kind of got a, a little suspicious when I did not see the 6.5 earthquake show up on any seismograph stations, uh, not only here in Yellowstone, but also the live seismographs that I run on the live stream. Uh, it did not pick up the 6.5 and a 6.5 earthquake will no doubt uh, show up on many seismograph stations locally and at a distance. So uh, as you can see, there was no 6.5 earthquake whatsoever um, on any of these stations here in Yellowstone uh, so yeah I call those things a phantom earthquake sometimes they happen sometimes there's little glitches that happen now say for example we get a 6.5 earthquake in this same region later tonight or tomorrow then I would be highly suspicious that they're creating earthquakes or that they know the future <laughs> maybe some time traveling going on there but for now, the 6.5 earthquake that struck in Canada did not happen, uh, and it does not exist. It was pulled. There's the uh, 6.5 that did pull up here, but uh, as far as information goes, um, there's just uh, there's nothing. It's gone. It's completely vanished. It did not occur. It wasn't even a small earthquake up there. It just happened to be a glitch that sent out that 6.5. Now, there is some movement up here in the Gulf of Alaska, which I kind of thought... Hey, you know, this is what triggered that 6.5 at the time before um, I realized it was a phantom earthquake. Because we have been seeing quite a bit of movement, some swarming activity within the last couple days here in the Gulf of Alaska region, right uh, around the uh, Yukon, Yukon area. Something to watch. Um, it is an indication of heightened pressure here in this region, the North American Pacific Plate area. Uh, that's why I was kind of like, you know what? It's been absolutely quiet here through this region of Canada, and uh, the 6.5 earthquake was like, okay, this is kind of this kind of what we're looking for with the swarming going on and the lack of activity. Uh, this would uh, make sense, but um, that didn't happen. It never did happen. So we still got to watch out. Uh, there's some definite movement there, swarming activity kicking up into the Gulf region of uh, Alaska. That is. Northern California, a little bit of movement throughout the area, nothing significant. We are seeing uh, some uh, movement around the geyser area, south of Clear Lake, California. This activity is normal uh, due to the hydrothermal plant that's over there. A lot of earthquake activity takes place there on any given day. <clears throat> a little bit of movement, a 2.0 in the Bay Area, about 5.5 kilometers below the surface here, just outside of Berkeley, Richmond area, into the waters of the Bay Area. Can't, uh, can't really say exactly what fault system this struck on. It's about three miles from the Hayward Fault Zone. That's a system that runs right up here through uh, San, San pa Pablo and just on the east side of Richmond. Highly densely populated area. Other than that, not a whole lot of movement around the Bay Area. A little uh, small quake on the Calaveras Fault System 1.6 near Gilroy. And some further movement uh, into the Antelope Valley area, Long Valley Supervolcano, Nevada. Just some microquake activity in the region, as well as Ridgecrest. Uh, we did have a little earthquake off the coast of Los Angeles, off the coast of Santa Monica, 2.8 near Malibu Beach. Uh, looks like it's on the, uh, what is that fault system here? Let's see if I can get that thing to pop up. Santa Monica fault, it looks like. Or the, uh, the Doom fault? Doom. Woo, D-U-M-E. Anyway, 2.8 off the coast here. 
Haven't seen any further movement within this vicinity since that earthquake uh, struck there, but uh, San Jacinto Fault area and areas around the San Andreas Fault on both sides of the plate boundary showing a little bit of microquake activity, as well as little swarming towards the southern end of the San Andreas Fault. I mean, this is very close to the San Andreas Fault, so we gotta watch this activity as well. Um, normally, it's typical to see earthquake swarms here around the Salton Sea area and areas to the south around the Brawley area. But when we start seeing swarming activity on this area of the San Andreas Fault, the locked section within about a mile of it, that's something to take note of. Right now, there's only a few small earthquakes that occurred earlier today. Biggest one of 1.5 or 1.6, excuse me. Uh, and some depth there around the typical depth here along the San Andreas Fault at about six kilometers or so, a couple deeper ones. But uh, definitely something worth watching here into Southern California. Uh, Intermountain West region showing relatively quiet conditions. There, we did have some earthquake activity in the Strait of Juan de Fuca, northwest of Oak Harbor, a 2.5 at 23 kilometers below surface. Getting a little bit of a subduction zone quakes there in that region. Uh, moving to the east, not a whole lot of movement along the Appalachian Mountains. A new Madrid Fault system, pretty quiet. And just a couple small quakes out near Pecos, Texas today. Uh, Mexico looking like, uh, what do they have, a 4.4 earlier, way earlier, at 15 kilometers and a little further movement off the coast into the Pacific, a 4.4 at 10 kilometers. Puerto Rico, what do we got going on over here? Uh, some movement kind of towards the Puerto Rico Trench, 3.3 within the last hour. Uh, Hawaii getting in on a little bit of action here as well. Uh, Kilauea pretty quiet, not seeing any significant magma movement at the moment. And Mauna Loa looking pretty quiet as well. Just your typical southeast flank deep earthquake movement over the last 24 hours. The northwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire still showing some movement. A um, little bit of activity inland, down dip uh, of the subduction zone. And also over here by Taiwan, 5.2 striking. Looks like, uh, what do we got there, 4.6 near the Indonesia area. This area is pretty quiet today through Fiji, down through New Zealand, along the Kermadec Trench. All this area normally uh, normally sees a little bit of activity, even if it's uh, some light activity. Right now, none, zip zero, zilch, going on for earthquake activity in that region. Uh, there's some movement further up in the uh, Asia area, <coughs> north of Mongolia and Russia, 5.2 and also a 4.2 within the same area. Mediterranean Sea around Greece and areas around it pretty quiet today. Also a little micro, uh, little eh, mid-range 5.0 earthquake around the southern mid-Atlantic Ridge. And we had an earthquake way up here. You can barely see it, right? You can barely see it on the, uh, the old flat scale map. Let's see if it'll even pick it up. I'm trying. It's up there. <laughs> it's way up there. Let's see if I can, uh, good lord, what's going on here? It doesn't even want to pick it up. So on the earthquake 3D globe, it's a 5.1 right around the North Pole, north of, uh, well, right over, somewhere around the North Pole, north of Greenland <clears throat> that struck earlier, way earlier this morning. Uh, what else we got here, folks? Just pretty active. I mean, it looks, uh, looks like things are starting to work itself loose, so to speak. Just want to be on guard up here around the northern part of the Gulf of Alaska and also down along the west coast, San Andreas Fault, be on watch here. Yellowstone National Park, we kind of checked out the, the movement there, a little bit of microquake activity. Uh, now looking like it could be dropping off the map here pretty soon. No new swarming, just a couple small microquakes uh, way earlier today. No magma movement or intrusion to speak of at Yellowstone National Park. Uh, what else we got? Pacific Northwest. Let's go ahead and check out the trimmer along the Cas or, yeah, the Cascadia. Look at that. That's quite the significant jump today. Uh, a little bit of movement uh, around the uh, Vancouver, Victoria area. And also Seattle, uh, southwest of Seattle and Tacoma underneath the uh, North American plate here, Juan de Fuca plate, subducting, showing quite a bit of trimmer into the northern part of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, as well as some movement, not quite as much as we've seen last night in this region, into the southern end of the Cascadia in the Northern California. So uh, a little bit of little heightened activity there along the Cascadia. 
Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Um, I think that's about it to cover the earthquake activity. There is a new thing I'm going to be doing on the live stream or on the on the update video nightly. Uh, going to be posting pictures sent in from viewers around the world. Um, this kind of theme, I kind of stuck with sunrises and sunsets. The sunrise out in Grants, New Mexico. Monique Gibson sent this in from New Mexico. A beautiful view. Absolutely beautiful, no doubt. I love that color of the sun. Actually, when I was up in Alaska, um, north of uh, Anchorage a couple years ago in the wintertime, the sun would just barely uh, go up above the uh, horizon. And that's kind of what it looked like all day long up in Alaska. So some beautiful colors there from uh, New Mexico. Thanks for sending that in. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, an image from Perry, Oklahoma. Been through here uh, quite a few times, actually, of a... Uh, uh, Sunrise, I believe. Craig Clement sent this in from Oklahoma. Thanks for checking in uh, and sending that image in as well. Uh, this image here from Kentucky. Uh, Kasumi Rose, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, said she sees a unicorn in the clouds there. And I can kind of see that as well, just a little bit. You can kind of see uh, some features there just above those trees with kind of what looks like a, a face, horse face, possibly, and then a unicorn out of that face there. Thanks again for sending that in, that in Kasumi. Uh, hopefully I pronounced your, your uh, name correctly. And this one right here, I know it's kind of kind of creepy, right? Not really a sunrise or a sunset image, but I think it's really cool to, to, <laughs> to bring it up. This is, uh, I believe, an emerald moth uh, from, uh, man, you know what? I had looked up that name here. I'm not gonna pronounce it wrong. I am not going to because I, uh, Goodness, let's see, where did it go? <laughs> oh yeah, Mika, hopefully that's correct. Mika, Hurkins or Hurkins uh, in the Netherlands sent this in of uh, that in the house. It's kind of pretty, but uh, I looked that up. I believe it's a um, emerald moth, completely harmless, I believe. But anyway, thanks for sending in all your pictures, folks. If you do want to get in, uh, and have your uh, image sent in or uploaded, or I should say broadcasted here on the update video. Send it in to the earthmastermail at gmail.com. Earthmastermail at gmail.com is the email address. Um, and I will pick them out and show them on the earthquake update video. If you want to uh, get recognized for some of your photos, preferably if you've taken the photos yourself, that's good. Um, and uh, yeah, so make sure you get those in. Thanks again for sending those in, those uh, ones that did email me. I'm gonna jump off here, folks, and uh, kind of focus on what's going on here around the globe and uh, be paying close attention out here along the West Coast. Have a good night, everyone. Hope everyone enjoyed their long, lengthy weekend. Start of the work week tomorrow, right? Have a good night, folks. We will catch you later. Stay safe out there.